Hello everyone and welcome back to my hard time series in Kerbal Space Program 0 0.90 beta. In this episode I want to get the series ready for upgrading to 1.0. I have reason to believe that we can upgrade this series to 1.0 because I actually tried it. I, I edited the persistent file to get the chunks that are special to 1.0 in and we seem to be able to load the stations just fine and everything and all the stuff that we have persistent was persistent and of course our funds were the same the status of our buildings was the same so it seems like we can upgrade just fine the catch is that of course right now we have missions underway that involve Kerbals which don't have heat shielding and probably wouldn't be able to make it through the atmosphere properly so what we need to do now is make sure that we get those missions complete bring those Kerbals back home uh, specifically Elliot Kerman uh, who is uh, en route to Kerbin as we speak Erden Kerman who is in his lander around Gilly and Ribden Kerman who is still on his way to Drez and then after we get all that done we can uh, we can then upgrade to 1.0 at least that's my hope uh, we'll have to see how that works out of course squad themselves have said that 0 0.90 is not compatible with 1.0 you can't just upgrade like that but I'm hoping that I can we'll we'll have to see about that uh, but first things first let's just get our stuff done we've got a lot going on here we've also got a station en route to Elu and a Tylo probe so like five separate missions that we have to deal with so here we are with Elliot Kerman and obviously this would not be suitable for for re-entry in uh, the new version of KSP well not obviously uh, we can't say obviously but probably probably not a good idea but let us proceed to bring Elliot back after his long trip to to Ike very long trip oh no we were supposed to do a mid-course plane change I didn't make note of that okay well uh, we can adjust that here I think okay so this maneuver to change our orbit from there to much tighter into Kerbin as you can see with a periapsis of 17 kilometers will cost us a healthy chunk of Delta V but we've definitely got that so not too worried here okay well, I'll take 25 kilometers okay a little bit of an inclination there but better than we had before hardly any fuel used actually I don't know how we managed to have so much fuel. Oh, right, because we just took the fuel from, from the station. Right, right. So we've got huge surpluses of fuel, and Elliot is back on track. Okay, here we go. Current sphere of influence. And our orbit is now suborbital. Well, not suborbital. It's a crash. It's crashing. So let's lift this thing up a bit. Uh, probably it's at the opposite side here. I'm not even gonna create a maneuver node right now. There we go. All right, uh, 28. Maybe I'm I'm gonna go for 25. While we don't have uh, re-entry heat, let's be a little bit more more definite about things. Okay, there we go. Should be fine for him. Take advantage of the fact that we're not in 1.0 yet. And where are you, Kerbin? Ah, well, we'll see it once we get closer. Let's head flat retrograde. As we should. We are going pretty fast here. We're going 4,000. Didn't check arrow braking calculator. But I, I presume this is low enough. Oh boy, we've got mountains. Let's hope we get done right around this valley, because otherwise those mountains look a bit foreboding. Well, I'm going to add a little bit of thrust to the equation to make sure that we don't head on to the mountains. Ooh. 
lots and lots of Delta V available. Just not a whole lot of time. Okay, parachutes. Uh, this is not going well. Must go slower. Must go slower. Uh, it's iffy territory we're over now, but I don't think we're in danger anymore. I think that's about it. Okay, so right around here. Not as bad as it could have been, but still. Not great. Okay, full parachute deployment, 6.7 meters per second. Terrain is presumably around 900 meters. We'll make sure the impact is gentle for Elliot. Okay, Elliot is back on Kerbin. Let's recover him. Wow, okay, 477.9 science earned. Tons and tons of science. And uh, parts, well, we didn't get the full value back, obviously. We're quite far away from the KSC. But, El wow, wow, look at that. Elliot Kerbin gained 31 experience. I've never seen such a gain in experience before. 31 experience advanced to level 3 right off like that. Surprisingly, no reputation gained. But, uh, you know, we can't have everything. It looks like we can pick up some technology. I think we can clear out this entire tier. Shall we jump on that? Well, we're going to be getting a lot of science anyway. Let's, let's clear the tier. Just because we can. Okay, so now we've got all that. I'm not going to purchase all the parts. We are saving up cash so we can upgrade the R&D building after all. Okay, next mission, I believe, based on my notes, is Erden Kerman. We need to bring Erden Kerman on his way back from Gilly. But let's time warp to the right location for transfer here. Okay, well, I'll give myself some buffer, let's say day... 310 because we need to get him out of Gilly as well. Is this really the right angle? I'm just going by notes that I wrote like weeks and weeks ago, so. Alright, well, let's try it. Erden doesn't have the few margins that Elliot had. Okay, we're pretty much in an okay position for escape. Let's Let's do so. I'm tired of waiting around in Gilly Orbit and it takes a long time to do anything. I guess we might as well leave it loose. Bringing it all the way down into a tight EVE orbit might have over effect benefits, but we're so close to escape anyway that it's probably better just to leave it like this. Okay, so now how do we have to go? Uh, we'll have to make a full orbit, it looks like. Yeah, good thing I... Well, it's going to be even more than a day. Unless we burn right now. It's going to be three days. That's not good. So we have to do a mid-course plane change. Up oh, there we go. I'll take that. I'll take that gladly. All right. Might have been better to do it just where we were, but anyway, we've got a maneuver that works here. Alright, Erden. Here we go. Let's get a good look at you firing on your way back home with the standard lander. Very standard looking shape for my kind of landers. Okay, let's see what we need to really do at mid-course. No, we weren't too far off. Uh-oh, moon encounter. Uh, that's going to make things a little bit more difficult. But we look like it looks like we can get past it pretty easily. 
Okay, that looks good enough for a start. All right, 75 kilometers on a mid-course plane change in 20 days. 20 days should be before the Dreslander has to do its thing. But let me jump back to the to the tracking station to make sure that the Dreslander doesn't need some sort of mid-course plane change. No, Dreslander seems to be on an okay approach. Uh, 1,000 kilometers should be fine. Tylo probe. Um, that's pretty loose. Maybe maybe it needs a closer encounter with Jewel. So yeah, maybe we should have done a mid-course plane change there, but we can do something right now. Let me do something immediately. Okay, so here we are with the Tylo probe, and I'll do a quick adjustment on this. Now we do have to fulfill these missions. Wow, look at that these missions as well before we upgrade because of course the engines have changed in 1.0 and that means that these engines are no longer capable of doing what I had originally planned. We do need to aero brake at Tylo and not, I mean at Jewel. We need to aero brake at Jewel in order to get to Tylo because of course Tylo doesn't have an atmosphere to slow us down. Let's take a very close look at what's going on. Okay, well, uh, 1,400 kilometers, and we don't have a leaf encounter, but that's fine. Alright, so that'll get us close in, and so the Tylo probe is all set. Yeah. Uh, of course, with the the nukes would be fine for with the new stuff, but the problem is the LV nine hundred nine. Instead of having, what is it? Uh, it has three hundred ninety ISP here, but in one point it only has three hundred forty five, so it would have trouble. And not to mention the forty eight seven S's have also been nerfed. So I mean, all the engines have been. So yep, we have to do this here. But first, let's go back to to Erden Kerbin because we need to bring him back. Ah, no, I missed a maneuver that we were supposed to do for the Elu station, and that's bad because we're gonna have to spend a lot more Delta V to do it now. But yeah, don't say curb alarm clock. Obviously, this is stock. I can't do curb alarm clock. It shouldn't be too bad. It's just a little bit bad. You can see I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it there. Okay. So here is our Elu station, and we can start correcting now. I'm sure. I don't want to delay because we've got so many other missions to take care of as well. Okay. Nobody ever said the Elu count encounters were easy. Okay, I just saw Periapsis blink before me. Let us attempt to get that again. Oh, there it is. It's a touchy little thing. Okay, well, 2,400 kilometers is probably as good as I'm going to get. Let me just keep it to 2,400. Okay, well, uh, Elu Station is on its way proper, and now I can turn to Erden Kerman on the standard lander coming back from Gilly. Okay, here we go. Outward bound. Out from Eve. And on to the maneuver node. Why does it seem. it's? It seems to be on a different. It's over here. That's not right. It's off of our orbit. That definitely was not intended. Okay, 28 kilometer periapsis. Alright. 
Okay, let's see, Erden. This is a pretty serious make course plane change. I was hoping not to have to actually do a plane change, but it looks like we do. Okay, let's see how close we're getting here. Um, just says curved encounter. What sort? Ah, the crash course sort. Okay. Okay. 25 kilometers and now it's nice and stable for me okay of course we are on a crash course anyway but uh, we can do a quick radio burn to correct that let's just go with 25.9 I guess that's fine it's all about mountains again trouble is we've already gotten the funds from the from this mission as well as the one Elliot did and that was just those were just plan to flag missions so we're gonna get some science back from Erden but we're not gonna get extra funds okay well it looks like we're yep we're definitely coming down and well the horizon looks looks clear doesn't seem to be any mountainous terrain there but hopefully that's indicative of what we're actually over up full parachute deployment at 1400 so trains at 900 the full parachute can only bring us to 7 meters per second so we'll use a little bit of engine in order to slow ourselves down oh crud okay uh... hmm alright skidded there for a sec a little bit of a slope but not much I'm surprised by the reaction but okay recover vessel Okay, 324.6 science earned from that, and still pretty far away from the KSC, but we brought him back, and how much did... Erden got 33 experience and advanced to level 4, so he, he bested Elliot Kerman. Good times. And now we need to focus on Ribden Kerman and his Drez adventure. Hold on, I've got this Elu Station Taurus B ship that's landed on Kerbin. I intended to just recover it, but I actually want to see what it is, so I'm going to actually go to it. Ah, it seems to be just this tiny piece. There's another piece over there. I, I wonder why this piece is particularly showing up as the one. But, okay, let's recover. Okay, so this will be the last thing for this episode, bringing Ribden to Drez and then in the next episode we'll have to bring Rhythm back and then also do the Tylo Probe and Elu station missions and then we'll be all set for 1.0 if that is if that actually is possible my suspicion that it is that it is but it is still a tricky business okay here we go headed for Drez there really isn't actually a benefit to upgrading to 1.0 it's more a matter of difficulty of course there are female Kerbals, that is a feature, if you will, but really it's just a matter of added difficulty otherwise. And not that much difficulty, considering I've been playing around with FAR and daily re-entry for quite a while now. It's always tough to see Drez when you've got this sort of approach. Where are you, Drez? Oh, okay, okay I can see it, it's right there. So yeah, it looks like uh, we go in this direction to correct. We need to come in for a landing, so better have a tight orbit. No, well, that's pretty tight. Hope there aren't any really rocky places. Maybe I should go a little bit higher just for safety's sake. I don't know much about Drez. I haven't been here very often. Least frequented planet. Even Moho and Elu I've done more often than Drez. Okay. That should do it. Let us head in and then we can get into orbit. It's probably going to take us some time to burn off the velocity. Let me see how long this burn is going to take. I mean, it's a lot of velocity that we have to get rid of. Okay, is it really 15 minutes? 
No, it's less than that. Let, let's get a little bit closer. I want to do this reasonably accurately. Otherwise, one end of our orbit is going to end up on a crash course, and I want to at least pick my landing spot. Now, the trouble with this Drez lander is that it doesn't have great electric charge. We've got these nice big solar panels, but we're going to ditch them after, after uh, the poodle stage here. Okay, it looks like we are in orbit. We're still on the nuclear engines, actually. Haven't switched to the poodle yet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it at there. Just right there. We are in orbit, so that's the important part. I'd rather land on the daylight side. I don't like being right on the Terminator like this. So, let's say... So, we'll put it into a, a descent orbit like this. Okay, so heading out to our apoapsis. Funny, retrograde should be north-south, right? May Oh, we're right at the pole. It's probably going to change around on us. We still have some fuel on this nuclear stage. But I don't want the low thrust of the nuclear stage. I'm pretty sure we can uh, just deal with the poodle. So I'm going to dump the nuclear stage now. The pool already will have more than enough delta V for our descent. And we have to ditch that before we move on to the lander stage, obviously. Okay. Oh no, we're going around the wrong way. Now I need to lift my periapsis a little bit. I forgot we are going around this way, so we can't be on a landing approach like this. Alright, now we can get on a descent trajectory. This area looks like a... well, no, it looks like we're actually... Yeah, this area here looks like it's a good landing spot. We carried a ridiculous amount of fuel with us. Let's go to surface. Okay, just that. We can put the gear down now. Just a little bit of horizontal velocity so that when we decouple the poodle stage, we'll go a little bit to the side of it. But let's go down for the most part. Don't know what the actual height of the terrain is. And if I do IVA, we'll only get the last 3,000 meters or so. I forget, did we put lights on? We did. We don't have a whole lot of battery power, though. I don't know. We're, we're nowhere near the... Okay, yeah, we're, we're nowhere near... 3,000 meters above. I can probably cut power. Just waiting for the radar altimeter to budge here. Okay, now it's budging. Looks like the ground is pretty much sea level. It's whoop, is not what I wanted. Yeah, the ground is pretty much sea level. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the poodle. Right now, I'm going to move a little bit away from it. Stuff blowing up all over the place. Not the greatest sound to hear as you're trying to descend, honestly. Okay, contact. Ridden Kerman. Got plenty of fuel left. 
but the important thing is to get the job done. Where Where is your aperture? Where are you coming out of here? Oh, we don't have a ladder for you? Yeah, we do have a ladder. There it is. Okay, good. Alright, the hop at the end, not too bad. And take your surface sample, keep data, EV report, keep data, plant a flag. Okay, Ribden on Drez. Today's date, a rare visit. Okay, so back to the pod and we'll also do the EVA and the crew report, DVA above the surface kind of thing. Uh, he can't quite grab the ladder. All right, uh, let's see if he can boost up. Yep, now forward, forward. Grab. All right. Stow that stuff. EV again. Take surface sample. Uh, no, I, I don't think that'll work out. I'll just keep it. EVA. Oh, it's still from Dres's lowlands. It's not above the ground. Uh, it reminds me, I should do the space stuff. Okay, crew report. Okay, keep data. All right, anyway, we will endeavor to bring Ribden back and continue with our Tylo probe and Elu station in the next episode. And then once we get all that settled, then we can attempt to move on to version 1.0. All right, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.